Have you ever wondered how the quick flicker of the seasons can jolt things at your neighborhood grocery store? I mean, we've all seen it. Get ready because a radical shift in the price and availability of some items is just around the corner. Things are gonna be changing here really soon. So it's time to put on your detective hat and see which items are nearing their end in your pantry and you're low on supplies before retailers usher in another wave of cost hikes due to dwindling stocks. Your favorite foods, drinks, and daily necessities are about to play hide and seek as shoppers flood stores prepping for the chill and the festivities of the months to come. So here's a little list of some of the essentials worth getting on your hands, in your pantries, and before the store shelves echo with emptiness once again. The first big one that we really have to really consider here is school supplies. Time's ticking, so don't dwindle on buying school supplies. Get out there and get it done now. We're heading straight into a storm of soaring season demands. We're finding essentials will feel like a wild goose chase and cost you a pretty penny if you wait till the time when your kids are getting ready to go back to school. So get out there and buy those school supplies now or at least start. Bottled water is another one. You know, hurricane season's here. It's already knocking on our door. You know, we've already had a few different storms out in the Atlantic. This extreme weather events that have been taking place across this country really outdo the hurricane season so far up to this point. So being prepared and having water, you know, if you're going to be leaving your home and going somewhere else, you know, having at least a three or four day supply of water that you can take with you is a good idea. If you're gonna be staying in your home, you wanna have at least two to three weeks supply of water in your home. It's better to be prepared than sorry. You will use it, it's bottled water. You can use it for anything, really, even if you don't need it for this season. But at least if you have it now for any type of a disaster that has been happening, it is just incredible and we haven't even had a hurricane yet. Extra chargers and batteries. Imagine the power outage is stretching on forever, especially considering the slew of deadly storms we've weathered so far this year. The amount of people that are still without power in a lot of areas of this country as we speak because of these deadly storms that we have been getting. The importance of having extra batteries and chargers can't be understated. It is very, very important for everybody to have these few critical things on hand in case of emergency. As we embark on the latter half of 2023, be prepared for this sneaky return of shrinkflation. We all know what that is. We've been dealing with it for years and it's coming again. It's the products that are sold in smaller sizes, but at the same price. This is your cue to start stashing now to get more bang for your buck and to fill your pantries while you can and get the most out of your money. Moving on down, dried noodles. These are hearty budget friendly foods that morph into delicious meals. With the decline in virtual ingredients like wheat and eggs, pasta or noodles might soon be missing from shelves. So restock while you can with your dried noodles, pasta and rice. Medications. Now is the time to go out and buy your medications for this upcoming winter. Why? Winter often ushers in more illness and a higher medication prices. They raise the prices because they know more people are going to need them. So start stocking up on these essentials now to avoid the stress of short supplies and inflated prices in the winter coming months. Beans. These nutritious powerhouse little round beans that are economically and have a very long shelf life, especially if you store them properly. Beans were the only grain in any category to see a price drop this year in 2023, making now the perfect time to stock up on beans. Dried beans are the best. 
You can get canned beans. Yes, they're not going to last as long as your regular dried beans, but you have to start somewhere. And the prices are lower now than they have been. So now is the time. Canned vegetables. With last year's weather events damaging fruit and vegetable production, the cost and availability of these goods are starting to really pinch a lot of people out there. As the winter season picks up and we move into the fall and winter, having a stash of canned veggies can be a lifesaver. Yes, we all love those fresh vegetables, but at some point in time, they may not be around. So having canned veggies could be a lifesaver. Peanut butter, a staple rich in vitamin and omega-3. Peanut butter faces a global shortage. So if you find it on the shelves, grab it. And if you find it on sale, buy one, get one, definitely grab it. Soups and broth. These are perfect for colder months when all you want is warm filling meals. Buy these in bulk now or buy what you can now as it is summertime and in coming into the beginning of fall before the prices start to creep up because that's when they're going to raise the prices on these products. Powdered milk. With dairy products pricing increasing this year 22% so far, Powdered milk, an excellent long-term alternative, is something to consider to put into your plan and your pantry. Cereals, another food category with a steep price increase this year. If cereal is your breakfast go-to for you, your family, your kids, now is the time to hunt for those deals and build a reliable supply. Remember, vacuum seal these bad boys when you buy them, and this way here, you can make them last longer than what they will in their original containers. Cleaning supplies. Deals on these items will dry up come September. So August is your last chance to get them at discounted rates. They're going to raise these prices during the colder seasons and everything else because people get sick people you know they have to get the flu or they get whatever you know people buy more cleaning supplies during the winter than they do during the summer so the prices will start to increase come september ground meat well we all know the unsettling rise in meat prices Ground meat is a cost-effective substitute that freezes very well and doesn't skimp on the flavor. So if you can find it in bulk and you can buy it and you can vacuum seal it and then put it in your freezer, it's going to be good for well over a year. If you find those great deals right now, folks, capitalize on them, vacuum seal it, and you'll be all set and be able to weather the upcoming winter with no problems at all. Canned tomatoes. Don't know if you've all noticed, but in the stores, there has been a shortage on a lot of tomatoes and everything else because of the growing season this year. But despite a shortage in fresh tomatoes, canned tomatoes are less affected by the inflation and can stretch into many meals. So you can always be ahead if you have canned tomatoes. You can make your own sauce, you can make whatever you want, then you could freeze your sauce or you could can your own sauce. You can put the chunk tomatoes, whole tomatoes, you can put them in a lot of different foods, dishes, uh, casseroles, all these different types of things and you will be all set. So as we head unto uncertain times, it's essential for you to be ahead of the game. It's essential for you to understand the importance of being proactive. Stockpiling doesn't just save money, but also ensures you're ready for any event that could be in your near future. As the days and times that we live in are changing on a daily basis. Stay ahead of inflation, shop smart, and always remember, preparation is key with a bit of careful planning you can transform this challenging situation into a success story for you and your family i'm survival preparedness for beginners thank you for joining me in this video today hope you all stay safe keep prepping now's the time and i'll catch all of you on the flip side